यस हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम अगेन टू ऑलिव बोर्ड माय सेल्फ जय शर्मा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ न्यू न्यूज इवेंट दैट इज the world solar report series so that means there has been a series of reports with respect to the solar that has been released recently now it has been released on november 5 2024 on the occasion of the 7th assembly of the international solar alliance so we have to understand a bit more about international solar alliance what exactly it is so if we can recall from 2015 there was a conference of parties there was a uh, conference of parties 21 that is cop 21 with respect to the climate change with respect to the climate change there is a conference of parties of uh, cop 21 this was held in paris now along with this concept or along with this particular conference of parties uh, paris that means it is in france the two countries come together named as india and france and they have gave the idea of we need to build an international solar alliance now what exactly is this solar alliance means so how you can recall or we have read through in our geography if we talk about the earth and if we talk about the sun okay so what the geographers have uh, observed till now is that this particular thing is known as equator that is 0 degree this is tropic of cancer 30 degree north and then the tropic of capricorn 30 degree south it is around 23 degree and a half something like that but we are taking as a for better understanding so what the geographers or the researchers have said that the sun rays the most of the sun rays is between is between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn so that means whichever countries are part or in between tropic of cancer and capricorn they are receiving the maximum amount of sunlight throughout the year so what they have observed and what they have noticed and what they have proved that that once we have the countries the number of countries who are receiving the maximum amount of sunlight they will be having more solar energy so they thought of establishing solar panels throughout the countries from between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn and the solar energy that will be generated that is the electricity that will be uh, supplied through a solar grid to all over the world so that will be supplied to all over the world in the form of electricity so based upon that they have launched a international solar alliance in 2015 they have discussed and it it formally launched in 2016 so of that particular alliance there is a seventh assembly right so this is the seventh assembly which was located in new delhi if we talk about the uh, headquarter of international solar alliance it is in gurugram it is part of the gurugram uh, where it has the headquarter is located but this particular assembly was in new delhi india whose objective is that they have released a series of reports on solar energy and clean technology advancements so we will be discussing these reports in which they have highlighted few things for example if we talk about the first report that is world solar market report under which they have highlighted the global capacity growth that is has increased from 1.22 gigawatt in 2000 to 1418.97 gigawatt in 2023 so that means we have increased somewhat so the annual growth rate is around 40% whereas they have also give the manufacturing projection that it is expected to surpass 1100 gigawatt by the end of 2024 so that means it is reducing the cost so that is a good thing whereas another thing has been observed in this particular report is they have been able to generate 7.1 million of employment so that is 44% increase from 2022 so that means in 2022 with respect to the solar panels they have increased the employment of 44% in solar manufacturing or the solar panel projects right so uh, what about the future projection they said by 2030 the capacity between 5457 gigawatt and 7020 gigawatt that has been aligned with the paris agreement so that what they are 
saying said this would be the capacity that will be generating between 5000 gigawatt to 7000 gigawatt by 2030 right now that was the world solar market report if we talk about the world investment report so investment in energy investment they are saying that it has been increased from 2.4 trillion in 2018 to 3.1 trillion by 2024 and they are saying that the clean energy investment is outpacing the fossil fuel investment so that means people are investing more in clean energy as compared to the fossil fuel why because it has been uh, rising it there's a growth of this particular sector if we talk about the solar dominance then we can say it accounts for approximately 59 percent of the renewable energy investment okay so that means uh, the there has been increase in solar dominance that means the total energy investment we are saying with respect to the renewable sector among them the 59 percent is being investing in solar sector i mean there are other kind of sectors also like uh, air energy wind energy or, or uh, let's say uh, water energy hydropower so among them the solar power people are investing more in solar power so that is 59 percent whereas if we talk about the world technology report so they are saying that the solar pv efficiency has record of 24.9 percent whereas there has been a reduction in the usage of silicon that means 88 percent since 2024 so there has been a huge reduction in using of uh, uh, silicon and the cost has also been uh, dropped by almost 90 percent on what on the pv cost right on the pv cost Then the next report is re regarding green hydrogen readiness assessment for Africa. And the which they have been highlighting decarbonization potential and industry application. Under decarbonization potential, they are saying that green hydrogen has produced via renewable powered electrolysis as an alternative to fossil fuels. Yes. And the target industries include steel and fertilizer production right so these are very minute factual information that has been asked in several examination it is steel and fertilizer so the use of hydrogen green hydrogen is more in steel and fertilizer production or that means it is government is trying to target these industries <clears throat> okay so if we want to conclude this particular site, so we can say that the global commitment that the report released underscores the ISA's role in shaping a sustainable energy future. And we have to be increase our vision to align with the Paris Agreement, right? So Paris Agreement is very, very important. Okay. Yes. So uh, this is it from this particular video under which we have discussed the importance of international solar uh, alliance or we could say we have uh, understood the uh, outcome of the international solar alliance from these uh, reports okay so uh, this is it from today's video the coming video will be covering more such kind of topics till then stay safe and study well thank you